and welcome to episode 53 of the Youth Squad Legends series with AFC Wimbledon. The first time in ages that I've done a late night recording. I'm very, very excited. This is what I always used to do when I was at college. I might not have done one of these in like four years. <laughs> There's a new mod that we've added for this episode and if it goes down well, it stays on. It's an additional gameplay mod that increases the effectiveness of the opposition defenders. Does it mean if it stays on, Jackers might not get 66 in a season? Yeah, but that is a price to pay. It's your first game of this episode, Middlesbrough against AFC Wimbledon. Enzo Bardi. Dominic Watts, quick passing between him and Django Swinkles. Edvaldo, you see that every single Middlesbrough player is in their half defending. Django Swinkles with the long range shot. Edvaldo pushes up. This is Adam Nichols with a through ball, possibly to Obi Jackers. Heel to heel flick. Lovely. Well done. And Eric Melville sticks it in. Thank you. Quicker we can get Obi Jackers into that passing game and make an assist, the better. Right, there's a hole there. Big up than my future. Well, Middlesbrough didn't take long to hit back. It's 1-1. Callum O'Flannery has the space. And he's off. He's gone. He's already passed two players. It's unbelievable by Callum O'Flannery. Really is. He is an absolute monster. Calamo Flannery just sets off and cannot be touched. No midfield here. Defence have got to sort themselves out and really haven't. I said that this was going to be more like realistic football. Um, it's 2-2 and we haven't finished the first half yet. What kind of realistic football have I been watching? Both teams... Struggling to cope with the other's attack. Well done, Eric Melville. He's having a tremendous game of football. Keeps on his feet. That's a great goal. Melvinho has come alive. That was proper Brazilian skill. Ah, in the shape of an Irish striker transformed into a winger. Lovely. Middlesbrough, corner kick. Away by Adam Nichols. Who's going to be there first? Eric Melville sticks out his head. Very brave, Eric. Jeez, mate. You need to slow down. It's a hat-trick for Eric Melville. Going back to the good old days of Eric Melville in striker, just bagging plenty. A hat-trick. When was the last time we seen this? Could easily bypass this midfield. And they have done. Jacob Vieira now, now close. Very good play by Middlesbrough, blocked by Beckett and Edvaldo. Oh, through ball by Enzo Bardi, don't mind if I do. There's so much space here for Adam Nichols. We can play it back to him as well. Oh, Adam Nichols finds the bottom corner. Full time here, Middlesbrough two, Wimbledon five. The testing showed very different results. Well played, Eric Melville. Three shots, three goals. We're still scoring plenty. It's just that those goal scorers or different names. I really thought we were onto something, but I'm gonna save it up and remove the mod. No, maybe, maybe we should play this game. Cardiff City at home. This is the big one. First against second, Cardiff City are relying on a 61 overall right back. The pain from last season quickly fading. I think he might go all together with a big result today. And who would bet against us? Since the return of Django Swinkles, we have looked mighty. We turned from a team that was scoring one or two goals per game to a team that's scoring five on a regular occurrence. There's the supporting run. Django Swinkles, there you are. Obi Jackers. Oh, yes, it is a goal. Obi Jackers squeezes it in. Took the gamble, the cross paid off. Obi Jackers was just about onside. Well done, good delivery. 1-0 Wimbledon. And at the moment, we are top of the championship. Nah, give us the live table, come on. I don't want to know what it was beforehand. It's all about what it is now. Enzo Vardy reaching for that top corner. Le Chicky Man comes up big. Oh, there's Enzo Vardy again. Ooh, you just whacked into the back of him. Jacob Vieira a bit more thought. Looks like we got prime Enzo Vardy for this match. Oh, yes, we have. There he is. Pressure on by Obi Jack as well as a throw in. All right, don't mind if we do. Eric Melville 
quickly inside. Django Swinkles slices it. Not getting through anytime soon. It's Django Swinkles on the cover. Adam Nichols now attacking. All right. A Conquo turn. Oh, here we go again. Oh, B Jackers. Too much power on it for the keeper. 2 0 Wimbledon. Full steam ahead. Top of the championship. King Obi. Where's the crown? Here comes the keeper. Yes. There you are, mate. Oh, it's wonderfully floated from Obi Jekers, who doesn't have the best passing whatsoever. Wants the ball back. Well, that will be a great hat trick. Nearly screwed it up, but fantastic by those two. Conquo and Obi Jekers together are brilliant. Keep up. Oh, Enzo Body. Ah, oh, the clean sheet gone. Very unfortunate, but sometimes that is sadly the case as a defender. Bad deflections. I mean, to be fair, on the attacking side, we can't say much. We've definitely had our fair share today. Mm. Oh, dear me. Bright Chateau has got let off the hook because of Enzo Bardi's quick reactions. That header at the end should have gone in. It's not five, but it is... A big, big statement. Obi Jackers with seven shots gets three goals. And I think his first hat trick of the season is that right in saying? Well, we've just come from a first against second clash, and now we got another first against second clash. It's even more important to be fair, because Chuba Akpom and Obi Jackers both have 15 goals apiece. Leeds United against AFC Wimbledon. They've just done the top goal scorer of the league introduction. And they focused on Chuba Akpom. Not the guy who won it last season. Make a mess of them, Obby. I beg, Obby Jackers, where's your top goal scorer now? It's that easy. Look at me, I'm Chuba Akpom. I'm top goal scorer of the league. Barely. Give me that golden boot. History beckons. What's he doing now? Ball to Chuba Akpom. Ah, it was guarded all the way. Edvaldo well played. Can Django Swinkles just about squeeze that to Callum O'Flannery? Rune! Callum O'Flannery, a conquo's made some big moves there. Powering! Oh! He just buoyed that centre back. Did you see? Never, ever change the perfection that is Mikel Okonkwo. Got nowhere to go upfield and dispossessed by Eric Melville. Quickly on to Obi Jackers. Can we get a 1 2 going? It's Obi Jackers. And Kellum O'Flannery flying in there, saved eventually by the Leeds United goalkeeper. They might have been touched by the defender as well. Really nicely done. This is... Who was that? Jacob Vieira Nan was in the box. Come on, Enzo. Ooh! Yeah, Chuba Akpom, well, <laughs> guess what? Me, Enzo, Bardi and Arnett. Unbelievable. What a first off. So much intensity from AFC Wimbledon. Everything's fine. The ball in is a very good one. So everything wasn't fine, was it? Leeds United won Wimbledon too. Leeds crept back into that game, but we were sensible and we found the win. So now we are clear by points. And Obi Jackers is top goal scorer in the league. Round four of the Carabao Cup. It's a home against Watford. Jesse Lingard on the bench. AFC Wimbledon against Watford. Quick, quick, Okonkwo was on it. Okonkwo against Watford. Can he score? Yes, he can. Well, they might have the talent. They might have the money. But you know what? what? Watford don't have that kind of thickness. <laughs> Once again, Enzo Body is doing this weird thing where I'm holding triangle. He's shaking about the place, but he's not moving. He's lost it. The cluck has possessed him, and yet he's still the best goalkeeper that I've ever had. Well done, Dalibor Bekic. You know where they want to play it. As Dalibor Bekic, not once, but twice. Oh, and Enzo Body! Cluck! We'll end the half with a Watford corner kick. I've got control of Dalibor Bekic. And that is where you want to be. On the edge of the box. Dalibor Bekic sorts it out again. Solid performance so far from the defence. Yes, I'm even talking about Schneg. We've had one big chance. That was put away by Mikel Okonkwo. Watford are the better side. There you go. We have some very effective players on our team. Talking about specialist players... Players that can make serious damage. Here's Callum O'Flannery proving that his speed will even be a problem in the Premier League. Callum O'Flannery squeezes it in. Bottom corner, Callum O'Flannery. What a great player. What a great individual. A superstar in the making. Run! Here comes Endo Bardi. Did he push that away? 
Oh, he definitely pushed that one away. Let's go into the instant replay. First one did not hit Enzo Bardi at all, so he's only going to get recognition for the secondary shot. Oh my goodness. Well then, there is nothing you can say. The celebration is interesting too. What a goal from the edge of the box. Oh, I'm honestly glad that Enzo Body let that one in. I think player of the match has to be Spencer Hughes. He has been a great replacement for Jacob Vieira and today. And it even ends with Spencer Hughes guarding the ball to finish the game and get us through to the fifth round, maybe quarterfinals. I can't remember the structure of this competition. But it's game over for Watford. We've dumped a Premier League team. I think it's a Premier League team out the Carabao Cup. One extra game, we're giving some of the fringe and reserve players a chance here at home against West Brom. Kamal Timsina, 1-2. And again, this is Boris Stiopovic. Big save. Sam Johnston denies. Here comes the corner kick. Oh, it's... <laughs> Marvellous! Corner kick. Who took that one? Yes, mate. Yes. Marvellous. Billy out. Keeper caught up in the crowd. Marvellous. Billy out with his first goal in forever. That has like salt going forward. Yes. There we are. And now that Django swinkles his back. As like Salt starts pulling out his finger. Throwing goes to Innocent for Farner who's trying to power his way through. Marvellous, Billy out. I mean, how have you figured that one out? Here comes a corner. It's Chapman. Oh! Marvellous, Billy had got there first, he could have had a second. Innocent for Farnock, yes, and a run by Kamal Timsin, a big chance. You've got to score this, haven't you? Oh, we've started to believe that there's something there. Kamal Timsin, oh, it's happened again. He needs to believe that he can do it. Marvellous, Billy has been a monster today, my goodness. Clean sheet, but one man's confidence has been hit slightly. Poor old Kamal Timsin, I really want it to work out for him because what he did to come back from the absolute brink, like he was getting sold, was outstanding. He played great in that new position. And now I feel partly responsible because we've changed that formation and we removed the position that he was doing so well in. International duty, finally, for Callum O'Flannery. Django Swinkles was out for two months and now Aslak Sol has suffered the same fate. Championship is great reading. First in the table. Leeds United are second. Playoffs are Burnley, Cardiff, Nottingham Forest and Aston Villa at the moment. Moment. MK Duns sit in 10th. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time.